some of you guys might know this, but their logo is a gun sight. Hey guys, Dan with Kane Custom Garage, and today I thought we'd take a look at my Husqvarna chainsaw collection. I got seven of these bad boys, different models, different years, different conditions, so I thought we'd take a look at them. But first I wanted to talk about the history of the company a little bit. It's amazing, Husqvarna has been around for like 300 years, and uh, you know, they started in Sweden, and uh, on the river and they used um, water wheels to make power for their factories and uh, so anyways they've been making weapons and guns and all kinds of stuff so it's interesting in fact their in fact their logo if you look at it um, and I didn't know this you guys might some of you guys might know this but their logo is a gun sight that's what that is that crown looking thing is a gun sight and I looked it up, and yeah, got, um, Husqvarna guns, you can look them up on the internet, and yeah, they got all kinds of rifles and pistols, and I can't remember when they stopped making guns, like in the 70s or 80s or something like that. And then, of course, they made motorcycles, sewing machines, all kinds of stuff. So yeah, it's interesting. So yeah, let's take a look at some of the stuff that I got. Okay, guys, let's take a look at what we got here. I don't really have these in chronological. These aren't in any particular order. I just sort of went from small to big, but the first one we got here is this uh, 44, the Husqvarna 44. There's just a little guy. And the nice thing about Husqvarna is um, their model numbers depict the CC of the chainsaw, which is sort of handy. So 44 is 44 CCs. And this is uh, the Practica. I looked that up trying to figure out what the Practica means. And Practica is basically their homeowner, homeowner chainsaw. So if it has Practica on it, that's like the homeowner version. Practica means like practice or, or uh, <laughs> something like that. And uh, let's see this one. When was this one made? 1979. And I haven't got this one running yet. I got this with a bunch of saws that I got last fall from my buddy Vinny. So this one's gonna be a cool little saw, a keeper. So there's that guy. And then we got the mighty Husqvarna 50 Rancher. And these were a really popular saw back in the day. I think these were made in 1983. And it's a 50, so it's 50 cc's. I think it's actually like 49 or something like that, but I mean, pretty close to 50 cc's. And this saw, I actually got from Christina's dad. And uh, he bought it brand new, still got the sticker, Power Shop Small Engine Sales Service, Burns, Oregon. That's where Christina was born and raised, in Burns, Oregon. And so yeah, Christina's dad did a lot of work with this thing. He gave it to me and I fixed it up. It needed a new bar and chain. I think the clutch drum was wore out in it. A few little odds and ends. And I have a video of this thing running somewhere. I'll put a link to it. But uh, we'll get it running and show you a little shot of that guy running. Little Husqvarna and a 50. Pretty quiet, really. Quiet little chainsaw. So that's the Husqvarna 50. And here's another one, another 50. This one needs, this one needs help. The top cover is busted, but it looks like it's all there. I actually haven't got this one running. And the interesting on these two is the, I think most of them came out with 325 chain, which that, that's what this one is. But this one, somebody switched over to 3 8 chain, which that's probably what I would do. Makes it a little nicer. 325 is a little, I don't know, a little harder to find. But anyways, so there's the two Husqvarna 50s. 
the Rancher 50s. Oh, and it's cool. He, he gave me the uh, owner's manual and all the paperwork that went with it. It's pretty cool, huh? Oh yeah, and then there's the, the speaking of the Husqvarna logo, I was going to show you guys. Um, so Husqvarna, like I mentioned before in my little intro there, they were a gun manufacturer way back in the day, and so their logo is actually a gun sight. That's a gun sight. Isn't that crazy? That's cool. So there's that one. And then I got this Husqvarna 51. This is the most modern one that I have, and Josh at JK Saw Shop built this for me. He put an aftermarket cylinder on it and ported it, and that's a good good saw. And there we go, 51 cc's. It's the Husqvarna 51. See, there's Josh's sticker on it. And yeah, this saw runs really good. I've, I've got a video of this cutting too. Um, if you want to see it, I'll put a link. I'll put a link up here somewhere for you. So that's a good little saw there. 1990, I think this is when this one's made. Good little saw, snappy, snappy little saw. I made a custom muffler so for it, see? So yeah, I love that saw, thank you, Josh. He introduced me to the newer, the newer type of Husqvarna's. And then, look at this bad boy. The Husqvarna 266 XP, the SE. I'm not sure what the SE means, maybe you guys can tell me. But uh, this one I got with that batch of saws that I got from my buddy Vinny last fall. And this one, this is a nice professional saw with a full wrap on it. And these 200 series saws have become really popular for porting and hot rodding. And so I'm excited to work on this one. It was missing. The cylinder was gone off of it and the carb and everything. So I bought me... A nice little bunch of parts for it. I got a, oh, I got a new um, carburetor adapter plate and bolts and gasket kit, bearings. And then I got this oh, cr crank seals, fuel line. And then I got this um, cylinder kit from Highway. This is the big bore kit that will make this into a 272. So the 66 is 66 cc's and then this will make it a 72. So that's gonna be fun. I'm excited to put that together. Comes with caber rings. I heard this is a good quality setup here. So one of these days I'll get this thing together. So yeah, that'll be exciting. I bet you that's gonna be a ripper. Yeah, and I'm sort of I'm sort of taking a liking to these 200 series saws. They're cool. Look at that bad boy. So that'll be a fun one. So that's the 266. When were those made? Where's my cheat sheet? 266 was made in 1981, or that's when it started, anyways. I'm sure they made it for a few years. So this one's a little bit newer, and then. I got my old dogs over here. The L65s. And these were a good old workhorse saw back in the day. These were made in 1979. Or that's when they started making them anyways. And this one I got off of eBay. And it was actually a really nice saw. The, um, the clutch cover was broken on it. And so I made my own plate on there and put some custom stickers on it. 
put the double dogs on it and then I extended this one down so that it can have a little kickstand see now it doesn't flop over but yeah that's a nice song Another one, another L65. When I bought that old Canadian, that 187 that I got over here, came with that L65, that 187, and then some Super 2s, and what else did I get? A couple other oddball saws, but... So yeah, you just never know where you're gonna find these things. But yeah, that's a, that's a nice little saw too, it runs good. So yeah. So yeah, that's the L65s, and then they made bigger versions of these. I think they made an L77, and I can't remember if they made any other models, but... So yeah, so there's the uh, Husqvarna chainsaws that I got, guys. So yeah, hope to, hopefully I'll find a few more. I'd like to find some more of those 200 series ones. Those are nice. And even that one that Josh made me, I like that too. I'm sort of taking a liking to the more modern saws, so... We'll see what happens. Okay, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, the other thing I wanted to point out was I was just thinking, I think Husqvarna is the only chainsaw maker that um, makes motorcycles too. If if I uh, if I'm thinking right, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, that's sort of interesting, isn't it? Husqvarna makes chainsaws and motorcycles, and I don't think any other motorcycle company makes chainsaws. But correct me if I'm wrong. So, anyways. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.